Hello, it's me that's Sudden Gamer. I am a core six fires of Rubicon. I think, if I'm not 100% sure, that this is the first Armored Core to come to PC. I haven't played Armored Core since, like, I think it was PlayStation 2. So, um, been a while. Uh, I've I've just uh, checked through the settings a bit, not much. I just changed the f frame uh, rate to 120. I do have VSync on in case there's some performance issues and there's like um, issues with like screen tearing. Otherwise, uh, it's getting close to Starfield, and I do plan to record that, assuming that it doesn't, like, glitch out and stop me from trying to, or the performance is just so terrible it's not worth trying to record. Anyway, like I said, I haven't played Armored Core in years. I th I'm pretty sure it was PlayStation 2. So, yeah, it's been a long time. I think I'll lower the music to five. I have the, vo I have the voice set to high because, well, you know. Yeah, global. I don't plan to play any sort of matchmaking stuff. Okay, what's really getting annoying is, um, for some reason it's showing there. Okay, there we go. That's better. Um, I just do the clever name Shadow. <laughs> it's not too difficult. We're close to Rubicon. Wake the dog up. Handler Walter verified. Activating cerebral coral control device. Augmented human, C4621, has awakened. Time to get to work, 621. I'm powering down your entry capsule, on my signal. Descent to ISB 2262, Rubicon 3, complete. Your position is grid 135. Off target, but within permissible range. There's a catapult ahead. Use it to close the gap. Main system, activating combat mode.
Well, apparently if the shirk had to activate my um, mic, uh, I was so triggered like a dash. I'm trying to figure out what buttons do what. Whoosh. I ran out of, uh, I guess, energy. Energy right there. So. But that's my. Oh. Seems like uh, so auto aim of some sort. So, oh, that's what that was. The RT, I was at short, I was doing it, it seemed to show some um, stuff on the screen. Ah, uh, right, I haven't used my missile pods yet. Okay, there's also bottom left scan, also um, expansion. This seems to be on the, this this armored car seems to be a bit on the light side. So I could turn the like this aim assist thing on and off. So I bet people would like that. Some levels to access it. Time to fly, sixteen one. I am. 
So a bit of a dodgy operation. Doesn't seem to be a left bumper weapon. Just left triggers the melee attack. So I wonder what the left bumper is supposed to do. It doesn't seem to do. Yeah, uh, it looks like it's an empty, empty weapon slot. That's good. So left shoulder. Basically, I don't have one equipped. I see. So that's what they call South Police. That's pretty far. So that was nice. Everyone else has weak ass makes. I mean, clearly my mech is obviously not very strong. It seems pretty basic on the light side. But uh, there's lots of goons. Since expired, this one's already expired. Keep looking. What? Well. As
Well, I shouldn't have shot at them, huh? Unless this expires at 12 hours, that's useful. It seems to be a higher rank than the last one, but the license expires in a half a day. I see. For some reason, the melee wasn't working. Maybe because I. Ah, it's overheated. It overheats after just one attack. It's about a kilometer away. It's actually better defended somewhat. It's 15 days, no rank. Monkey Gordo, not the best name. I honestly thought it would be that one. This goes. Ready 
registration number RB23. Rank fits the bill. Call oh, sign. That's... What? Looks like they were on to you after all. I'm in no mood to pick a fight with the PCA. But it doesn't matter. Take it out now and they won't have enough to ID you. AP. Oh, uh, seems like our last one, I suppose. Uh, I run the melee attack with my family. Repair kits remaining. It's not like you give for me. Right hand ammunition at fifty per cent. AP at 50%. It's got over half. Am I supposed to beat this guy? Am I supposed to beat this guy? I died, I had no missiles or anything. I obviously did something wrong. And um was I supposed to escape it said to destroy the thing. So what did I do wrong then? That's it. Try accessing the rack. It seems like it's taking a long time to defeat this thing. AP at 
bro. Okay, clearly I must be doing something wrong because this is absurd. How am I supposed to beat this thing? It's a bullet sponge. Or a missile sponge, I guess, would be more accurate. I must be doing something wrong. It says to destroy you. But it doesn't seem like a realistic ask. It's a huge spike in the difficulty. Easy to defeat those plebes on the That's ground, it. but then Try you got to defeat correct. this big, heavily armored. Attack chopper thing. Registration number RB twenty three. Rank fits the bill. Call sign. What? Looks like they were on to you after all. I'm in no mood to pick a fight with the PCA. But it doesn't matter. Take it out now, and they won't have enough to ID you. Seems like the best option is literally melee attacking it to oblivion. We got what we came for. Tie up the loose end, six two one. I missed permanent. Managed to get a really nice hit on me there. Light shoulder ammunition at fifty percent. That that's weird. It didn't tell me to use melee attacks, but those are by far the best way to take this thing on. Like it's not even close. Confirmed. Heavy combat helicopter is down. So yeah, if anyone had a sign from that license you picked up. Yeah. Raven, huh? Rank F. License expires in three days, that sucks. Uh, I guess we gotta renew it. It most likely costs money, which we have to earn. Um, 
Banning weight, yeah, but that last boss fight, I don't know, maybe they mention it and I just didn't hear it, which is possible, but really, it's very clear that the easiest way to defeat that chopper is to melee it, which is counterintuitive. Just, I don't know. Raven. That's your new name here on Rubicon. Doing extraction, yeah. No bonus pay. Repair costs, ammunition costs. Is that. Seems like euros, kind of. Coral, a sublime substance. Discovered on Rubicon, a planet on the frontier of developed space. For a time, Coral was a revolutionary energy resource and data conduit, poised to transform human society by leaps and bounds. They called it the Fires of Ibis, a storm of flame that tore through the stars, leaving lethal contamination in its wake. Coral, the kindling, was thought to have been utterly consumed, forever lost. However, on Rubicon, the embers continued to burn. Humanity would inevitably return to stoke the fire. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Authentication complete. Removing MIA status. Restoring access privileges. This is All Mind, the mercenary support system. Welcome back, Raven. Looks like you passed the authentication. Raven. That's who you are now, here on Rubicon. I've picked up some work for you already. Take a look, 621. This notification follows restoral of access privileges. Allmind provides a combat training simulator to support its mercenaries. Your license was in a suspended state. Perhaps you may need a refresher. As an added incentive, completion of the exercises will be rewarded with AC parts. You stand to benefit regardless. I think way back when I played the the one I think you, like I said I think it was PlayStation Two. I think um, I think I used like a game shark or something to uh, unlock more energy or something like that, so I could play around more. Oh, uh, this is uh, something I'm doing here, but this is one thing I like: you know, customization. You can decide to make a super light, speedy more like a scout thing just avoid getting hit because you get very squishy so to speak or it can make a really heavy tank that's slow tough and hits super hard help me anyway. here 
Uh, so it's basically health. So basically, it's like it's stability. Not necessarily have like a lightweight four leg would probably have higher stability than a two leg that's heavy. At least if the two legged isn't bottom heavy. Hmm. So I can add more. I assume we can increase the limit as your rank goes up. Or maybe you can just buy an upgrade, which again might be limited to your rank. Uh, I see it's can it's the blade. Yes, and now let's see if we can, I guess we can't get anything here. So I got a new type, so to say, a new type. Uh, let's see. So I gain a little bit of toughness at the expense of boost. Uh, that wouldn't be too bad. It doesn't look like a terrible trade-off. It does increase the weight, and, but the, the boost isn't that much of a loss. Scan, that's nice. Ah, uh, significant increase to weight. Hmm. So yeah, the, the current setup is almost a scout unit. I might actually change this around. Mm. I think it's less of an obvious advantage this time. I mean, I can increase the boot limit, which is good. Hmm, a little extra AP and defensive performance, but lower stability and of course lower boost and hmm. I think I will change the head though, because it did seem a decent trade off. I have a scanner, which I'm not sure exactly what it would do, but it does sound like, useful. Let's see what happens if I trade them all. might go for the whole thing. Yeah, I don't seem to have anything new. 
weapon wise. I did lose a little boost speed, but it's only like in the order of about 1%. Doesn't seem to be a terrible trade off. Paint job. I, put, I do want to make it a little more colorful than matte grey. Uh, corporate military dark. Ah, uh, entire frame. Yes, yeah, changing all at once. That seems best. Yeah, that's not bright. Hmm. Kind of looks nice, though. I think I will change. thing going on here. That's uh, fine. Yeah, have that be like dark color. Right, dark color. I'm trying to see what that is. Oh, there we go. Is it kind of, I don't know, mauve? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a little excessive weathering there. That kind of looks good though. Uh, uh, oh, I'll be a little bit more dark with the weapons. Yeah, that looks good, that looks good. I think I'll leave it on that. I mean, a little bit. So, uh, that works. Decals. How about the core? Ooh, it's a kitty cat. Kitty cat race for me. Ooh, unicorn. Unicorn. Ah, I could do custom deco. But I'm not going to do that. It's a bit too much work for now. I think I just stick with it. Ah. Uh. Uh. 
Let me see, but I'm not going to bother with that. Yeah, so, so I'm sure there'll be players, top players, sharing their AC data. I'm not gonna bother seeing that. There's nothing. Really. So I'll just go with sortie mission tra training. I think you're supposed to get an extra part if you do the training. So it's pretty good. Besides, I record this for like the first like hour, hour and a half, or something like that. Get an idea of how it works. Get some extra stuff. I'm supposed to get something for doing the training. That's nice. Cancel most of those. Down his skin.
Captain Rufusubu. And that tweet so well here. It's at the end then. That's nice. I got a new weapon. Let's go with let's check the weapon. Let's see, the attack power goes down, as does its impact, but it's lighter. I see, so it's a two-handed weapon, it's, it's a dual-wielding type of weapon. It's not really all that great. I'll test the AC performance, see how it goes. I mean, all I did was change to a different default type of unit. That's useful. Get my butt hand to me. AP at fifty per cent. Get the idea. So I don't know, I'll go for another mission, I guess. So you got a little bit of an option here. Well, this seems like it must be harder. Be reward. I wonder if you can only do one. I think I'll go with this because it seems like it'd be shorter. Normally, I would go for the better paying one, but. Got a job for you, six two. Southern Bellius. Your objective is to destroy an MT squad sent by Dafung, a Balaam company, and a competitor. Grid 135 is a key foothold in Archibus's efforts to conduct a coral survey in the contaminated city. You, the independent mercenaries, are the key to maintaining our lead in the coral survey race. The Archibus group looks forward to news of your success. Briefing over, and happy hunting.
really it's very straightforward defeat all enemies simple I do wonder if there'll be benefits and demerits against um, participating in different companies uh, missions like if you seem to favor one company will it get better m missions and rewards from them or but I don't know. Maybe not. I mean, you're supposed to, you're ostensibly an independent, so. You've got ID. Now you need a rep. Get their attention. Six two one. I mean, the these colors would be very impractical if you were, you know, doing uh, online. But the enemy AI doesn't care about what color you are. You could be neon pink and it wouldn't notice you any easier. But, um... Commence mission. Wipe out the Dafog MT squad. Okay. So let's... Enemy attack! What I see! Looks like the Archivist group hired some muscle. An independent mercenary, huh? At least they didn't send the Vespers. Intercepting! They're just mass-produced MTs. Wipe them out, 621. Oh shit, I ran out of HP. 50%. I wonder if I get like a penalized for that sort of shit. Two, one, wait. I'm picking up new enemy signatures. Looks like reinforcements. Eliminate them. remaining. Maybe I shouldn't have run right into that. Light shoulder ammunition at 50%. Fast. Probably like lost points because um, um, yeah, I 
they had repair cards, ammunition cards, penalty, no penalties. Yes, it beats P68, but after all, the cars uh, is much less. One new message. This is a notification from All Might, the mercenary support system. Registration okay. number RB23. Call sign Raven. Your return to mercenary activities has been acknowledged. Restoring access to the parts shop. Ooh. Yeah. I wanna get I wanna get something on the left, you know. Left shoulder. See if there's any like Meet certain conditions, which might be like um, get rank or do special missions for certain companies. Maybe we got 159. Uh, almost 160. More attack power, more impact, fewer total rounds, but if you're hitting much like twice as hard or more, I think I might do this burst rifle, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get something on the left. 144, but's this dual missile launcher. Shield, huh? Well, getting a shield would be nice. I don't know, I like the idea of hitting a little harder, though. Change the core, very expensive cores. Ooh, look at that. I mean, it does drastically increase the weight and the EN load. This. That one actually seems really good balance. Slight increased weight, but it reduces EN load. It adds armor points and attitude stability and generator output. I mean, not nearly as much as some, but it is an overall nice improvement. Of course, it's beyond my price range at the moment. Ah, booster improvement. Reduce missile long block time. Hmm. And that, that sounds like it would be good. A bit of an EN mode. Ooh, generator. Add some weight. Hmm. EN recharging. Recovery would be very nice. Yeah, that would actually be really nice. I want to get this gun, but more than that, I want another weapon for my shoulder. Go big or go home. 
It's the exact same one. So it seems to hit a little harder and it's a little lighter. I'm gonna be so broke. I'm gonna double check. Oh, yeah, I need to add it. Woo. So I'll be a little bit slower, a little bit heavier, a little less boost speed. But overall, it's an improvement. Um, I do training again. I might, I might skip training now just for you guys. Normally I do training, but uh, I, you probably don't really want to watch the. Watch me do actual missions. So I'm, got a job for you, six two. This is an open call from the Balaam Group, one of the corporate forces occupying Rubicon. Attention all independent mercenaries! This request comes from our affiliate, Dothung. The Rubicon Liberation Front has deployed Baos artillery throughout the contaminated city. The city itself has no strategic value, but we cannot allow them to hinder expansion of the Coral Survey. Show us your ambition. Destroy the Liberation Front's artillery. Bonus pay will be awarded for destroying their MTs. We want the enemy weakened. Consider it an opportunity to prove yourself. Impress us, mercenaries! Yeah. I mean, even though I think these guys are probably, you know, a bit dick. A bit dickish. I mean, this this is actually the same group that was um, uh, I think like going against the other uh, co corporation or whatever. So okay, well let's see how this goes. I mean, I'll try to destroy as many enemies as I can. I'll do that I instead. Who does this job? As long as it gets done. I'll probably focus on defeating enemies instead of, you know, actually doing the main part of the mission. I don't think there's a time in combat mode. Commence mission. Destroy all of the Rubicon Liberation Front's artillery placements.
moment. Take the lead. Armor plating. Attack it from behind. Deploy for combat. Destroy that AC. There's only one of them. We can do this. remaining. Left shoulder ammunition at 50%. Get hit pretty dang hard there. Axe. Left shoulder ammunition at thirty percent. Right shoulder ammunition at fifty percent. Seems like I lost my left weapon. Right shoulder ammunition at 30%.
cave. Got a nice bonus for defeating all the regular guys. Bonus pay of 80. The bonus pay was. Yeah, I got like about 38,000 in bonus pay, roughly. After the expenses are accounted for, so 138,000. We have 138,708. So that's worth it, I guess. Came out ahead. One new message. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Your records have been updated. You have also been granted access to participate in the Log Hunt program. We kindly request that you submit combat logs after destroying designated craft. Allmind will reward you with parts based on the number of submissions you provide. I see. I see. Yeah, but I'm not selling anything. I mean, I, I guess I, maybe I'll buy, I'll change my weapon. I don't use my gun as much, but... Hmm. I mean, that's a pretty nice... Handgun. I mean, it does more damage than my beast rifle, which is just kind of sad. Just a beast rifle. But most likely, there's uh, like a range limit, maybe. I mean, this obviously hits her a lot fewer rounds. Not really ideal for smaller targets, but just a little overkill. I don't know, maybe I'll just save up my money. I could probably see something better later. So, I think I'll stop recording here. See, as um, you know, I've done like the tutorial mission, the first tutorial stage, uh, and two main story missions on top of it. I've been playing for over an hour. Should get you a general idea of how this game is. It seems pretty good. Runs fairly well, as far as I can tell. Can't complain. So, uh, bye bye.